All right, so I wanted to uh, show you guys kind of what I've got in mind for this thing since it's kind of a nice day out. I figure I can do a little bit of the, or try to do a little bit of the fabrication as far as starting to get this eight horsepower Kohler mounted to the front of the 400. Um, let's see here. You can see the drive shaft kind of hanging there. The idea is to come underneath the framework and connect up to the front of this pillow block here. Pillow block will be pushed back a little bit. I think I I got to get this uh, pulley and clutch assembly off of that thing real quick before I can make any permanent decisions on this. I think I'm looking at about 21 inches overall on the shafting or drive shaft build that I'm going to make for this thing. Uh, surprisingly, the spacing from here to here is exactly the same as it is on the John Deere 200 series machines. It's just wider uh, across the frame, but that's not really an issue. At least I've got this portion of it, you know, sorted out. So, <clears throat> um, I got some inch and a half EMT conduit. Probably going to use that for a portion of the drive shaft on this thing. I've got kind of a game plan sorted out on how I'm going to try to keep things reasonably concentric in the process of building this drive shaft. Um, at the end of the day, it's not going to matter. No matter what I do, I'm not going to be perfect with it. So I'm just going to try and get it reasonably close. Um, I got made a little bit of progress on this thing but I made kind of a crucial mistake and I made it a little bit too tight so I'm going to wind up having to just cut a couple of chunks of it off and using a couple of chunks as opposed to one solid sliding piece which is which is fine it's not going to take a lot to transfer eight horsepower into the uh, PTO system on this tractor. So anyways, assuming I don't run out of motivation in this nice sunny weather, that's what I'm working on today.